Hi guys, today we're going to recreate this color grading video by Sir Bench Villana. I'm going to show you my creative approach on recreating his real animation style using an After Effects template that I made. So you don't have to make one from scratch. Here we are on After Effects. The first thing you need to do is to click the link down below to download this After Effects template. This doesn't use any third-party plugin, so anyone that have After Effects CC can open this template without any issues at all. When you open the After Effects template, you'll see two variations for the color palette is in animation. The first one is a simple scale animation. The second variation is a flicker effect animation. It doesn't matter what you will choose between these two since mostly any changes in this template will also reflect on both final render compositions. To get a color palette, we need to go to coolers.co. Since I based this After Effects template on the color palette generated from this site. We just have to click the small camera icon above and drag our edited photo to extract a color palette. Since we need 6 colors for this project, you have to click the plus button to add another color. You can choose whatever color variation seed you like but I suggest if your photo has a human subject, make sure you choose a color palette with a skin tone color. If you're already done, just click next and export the palette as image. Going back to After Effects, open the Change Color Palette composition and drag the exported color palette we just made from coolers.co. These colors will automatically reflect on 6 boxes on the two final render compositions as you see here. You can now drag and import your raw photo and edited photo on their respective compositions. You can resize the photo but make sure that the scale of both photos are the same. You can basically copy the scale property from the raw photo to the edited photo or vice versa. Open any of the two final render compositions, then click the control layer toggle list. Zoom in on the timeline where you can see the in and out keyframes for the color animation. Go to the first keyframe by clicking on the time ruler or by dragging the timeline playhead. On the effect controls panel, uncheck the color preview to disable the black and white filter so we can easily match the colors on the photo. Now, click the color one and on the playback panel, drag the color box anchor point to where it has a similar color on the photo. Do that again to color two, but move the timeline playhead to the next keyframe. Repeat that step until you're done matching all the colors. After you're done, don't forget to check again the color preview on the effect controls panel. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and as well as to Sir Bench Villana for this video concept. Please do like and subscribe for more videos like this.